Hey guys, I didn't ever think I'd make a video talking about a situation like this in a long, long time. Apple's operating system and those who are managing the operating system are really not doing their job properly. There's been so many bugs, so many issues with iOS. And last night was probably one of the biggest issues I've ever seen in iOS ever. So Apple yesterday, let's rewind a little, released 11.2 beta 6 to register developers and public beta testers now 11.2 beta 6 is pretty much the official release for ios but it wasn't pushed out to the public however apple last night we're talking 11 12 midnight released 11.2 to everyone worldwide and the reason for that is ios 11.1.2 which is probably the software running on your device right now would crash and would respring constantly every 30 minutes or so depending on which app you might have installed now the source of the crashing isn't completely confirmed by apple but the software 11.2 was pushed to prevent this from happening now other sources indicate that this could be caused by applications that you have set to notify you every 30 minutes or every hour i don't know exactly what it is as i mentioned it's not certain yet what it is but what we do know is apple did know about the issue and fixed it by releasing 11.2 to the general public on a friday night saturday morning depending on your location as an emergency fix because the devices will constantly respring once your device would reach 12 15 a.m now as i mentioned it is uncertain what's causing this issue but once your device would hit 12 15 a.m on saturday morning december the 2nd your device will start respringing on its own but if you're encountering this issue on 11.1.2 here's how you quickly fix it so once your device respring's you want to go to general instead of settings and then you want to go to date and time and just set this auto option off and set this to december 1st and then go back and go all the way up to software updates and update to 11.2 11.2 has a ton of new features enabling fast wireless charging and a bunch of other features like apple pay or cash apple peer-to-peer -peer payments and all that stuff but the main issue here is to update to this software for those who were affected by the bug that would cause the respring issue on your device and i don't think i've ever seen a bug this major that would impact millions of iPhones. So we're talking millions of iPhones that could be impacted by this bug, depending on the applications that you might have installed or how this bug works. It's still uncertain on how it works, as I mentioned many times. But the important thing here is that you make sure you go to general, a date and time and set it back one day and then go to software updates and update your device to the latest 11.2 now it seems very irresponsible from apple that something like this could happen i mean this we're talking millions of iphones out there and lately we've seen just so many bugs i don't think i've ever seen so many issues with autocorrect with freezing issues this bug that would cause a respring is just turned into sort of a nightmare for apple when it comes to ios i don't think i've ever seen any operating system that's had so many issues and i think apple needs to uh, refocus their attention and uh, make things right and not push software uh, without really really uh, testing this there's millions of people that can be affected and i'm a big apple fan i love ios but lately it's just been a very big mess especially when we go through so many betas to test software little things like this are just major because imagine if everyone was affected by this uh, time a uh, bug and last night everyone's iphone would have just crashed it would have been a nightmare for apple it's just insane how this could happen so hopefully apple will redirect their focus and make things right in the future Again, guys, if you're having this issue, 11.2 has been officially released. If you want to know more about the software and what it can do, I'll have the links in the description for that. And uh, the battery test is still in the works. I just had to film this video for you guys in case you came across this issue because this happened last night as I was sleeping and they released 11.2 to the general public. I think it was uh, 1 o'clock a.m. Uh, Eastern or Pacific time. I'm not even sure. I just woke up to this big mess and I wanted to inform you guys about it. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.